Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video showing three guard retention tricks that I think a lot of people are missing that'll make a big difference in your game. A lot of people, when they're playing their open guard, they're dead center. So they're in this like center position. And if my opponent throws my legs, I can get kind of out of angle and it's very hard to recover my legs. So this small change of shifting my hip angle into the direction that he's passing makes it much easier to retain my guard. So if I'm dead center, the line of my feet is straight up. So if he's standing here, for example, my feet are like this. So it's very hard. I have to use a lot of mobility to track where he's going. When I just make this small change onto my, the side of my hip, it makes my feet track in the direction that my opponent's going. So whether he goes this way, so start walking back that way, I can use my foot down here, the foot in the bicep. If he goes that way, I could use this foot, this foot. So a cool way to practice that is working this hip jump movement. A lot of people, when they get turned into the wrong angle and they want to get their angle back, they just try to turn with their body. But if there's any amount of pressure here, I cannot just turn. So this small little hip jump movement, while it's very very small makes a tremendous difference in your ability to get aligned and it stops you from getting out of position like this. If I'm dead center, he starts going this way, I turn there. If he starts going that way, I turn there. And my elbows on the floor help support in that turn. So what we want to do is whenever he starts grabbing my pants, I want to put my feet in the biceps. When I use my feet in the biceps, and this is not a gi, no gi, or spider guard thing, it's just basic principles of moving. Even if I was doing no gi and he grabbed my ankles, and even in the gi, sometimes people will grab your ankles. If they grab my ankles, I can't go to the bicep, but I go to the wrist instead. As long as he maintains this grip, hold it really tight, I can move and navigate to control my distance and the angling of my hip to fight him, right? If he grabs my pants, I can go like this and move. If he lets go, then he loses that control. I can move on. If he lets go of both, now he has nothing. I can push off the legs. He starts messing with this and I do this. So I'm always using my feet in the proper positioning. So if he's trying to control my legs, you need to be using your feet in the biceps uh, or the wrist to control. If he's standing up taller, I can use his legs or his hips. If he backs up so much that I can't use either one, I always prefer to sit up if I can, because now I can properly grip fight sitting up and I can control the distance better and set up what I want.